I've noticed it's St George's Day today and one man who certainly has is the Prime Minister. David Cameron has used the occasion to speak out on Scottish independence, saying Scotland should remain united with England. Our political editor Andy Bowell has been finding out if he's drawn any support. For those who want to keep Britain together, it's time to start inking in the strategy. So in the name of St George, David Cameron has made a new appeal that nationalists north and south of the border should still support a united kingdom. Let's prove that we can be proud of our individual nations and be committed to our union of nations. Because no matter how great we are alone, we will always be greater together. He's up against a man who takes a very different view. Alex Salmond, First Minister of Scotland, believes it's time for the Scots to go their own way. And tonight he's come south of the border to Carlisle with his own message that independence will be good for England too, especially the North. Scotland and England will be the, the best of pals, the, the, the firmest of friends, the closest of neighbours. But the reason it's going to be good for the North of England is the process of independence is going to rebalance the economy of these islands. It's going to provide a, an alternative centre of gravity of growth in the, in the north of these islands, and independent Scotland will be that powerhouse. In Trafalgar Square, they'll be holding a feast in honour of St George later, but where the Union flag flies, along with the cross of St George, what do they think? As an Englishman, would you feel your country had been lessened by Scotland going its own way? Um, yeah, I think they would, yeah. I think, I think the Scots bring something that we need, a bit of grit, I believe it's called. And I think the English should get a vote as well. I, mean, I object to the fact that we don't get a vote, because if they, they did, I'd vote, yeah, let them go. <laughs> no, that's, that's their choice, they want to go, go. Would you be sorry about it if they did? Marginally, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. In the legend, St George slays the dragon, and David Cameron would love this to be the story in five months' time. But it's Scottish voters who will decide, not an English saint. Andy Bell, Five News. Well, talking of Scotland, one of Scotland's most famous sons...